So here is the simplest way to find your connection to God. Hey guys, it's John here in the studio with a magnificent mug of coffee yet again. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Um, it is it is very warm outside here in Akron, and I am in my air-conditioned studio enjoying that uh, cool air blowing on my legs underneath my desk, and uh, I'm very excited about that, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Almost every day I do a private session, someone will ask me about how they can have a better connection with God, better connection with Source, better connection with the universe. Somebody will always ask me that question. And it's a great question because, you know, that's what all of us really want is, that, is to have that feeling and that experience of that unconditional love of God or, or of the oneness with the universe. So I wanted to hop on and talk about this because it's actually, it's so simple that we have a hard time even recognizing it. And really what it is, is recognizing that you already do connect in a very big and powerful way, but you have to acknowledge it for it to become into your consciousness. You have to recognize that that is what that is in your consciousness to come back to that state. You know, people often ask me what spiritual text they should read. They think they know about all my books and everything. And they, they say, well, what's, what ancient spiritual text should we read? And I, I always tell them, I said, read comedies because you're never closer to God than when you're laughing. And I mean that wholeheartedly. You know, the Buddha said the secret to enlightenment is the eradication of fear, right? And Amen means so be it. It means right here, right now, it is done. And you know, whatever you ask in God's name is granted. Moses said God's name is I am, not I was, not I will be. It's a matter of coming back to this, this present moment state of fearlessness. Well, when you have, are fearless, what is left is love, and God is love. And that is the direct connection. When you are fully laughing, and leaning back and just really in that moment, joyfully laughing at something, that is the direct connection to God. And the next time you find yourself laughing, I want you to take a second and go, oh, this feeling, this is the feeling of God. And the more you acknowledge that feeling of God in the bottom of a laugh, you'll find that right there is this complete oneness. You don't have fears or anxieties about your world. You don't have any, um, any doom or gloom prediction for the future. In that moment, you are 100% fearless. You're 100% present. And those two things, a present moment fearlessness, are the two things that every transcendental experience has, every connection to God has. You come back to that oneness of God. Now, I just said, you know, and God is found at the bottom of a laugh. Well, a laugh is a joyful exhale. And so you, you know that I talk about exhaling a lot, but a laugh is a joyful exhale. At the bottom of that exhale, what you've just done is you've shut off the fear response in the physical present. That's why you're fearless, because you've released fear during, during the laugh. So the quickest way to find God and, and to experience the oneness, the connection that you're all seeking, is found in laughter. Find something that makes you truly laugh. Find something that makes you truly smile. Find something that makes you let go of the present world. And, and all of the controversies, all of the conspiracies, all of the stuff, 99.999% of it, if it was true, you couldn't do anything about it anyway, so you might as well live a joyful life. So set all that stuff aside. Turn off the news. Live a joyful life. You have no power over what they're saying anyway except for your vote. And so stay in this position of saying, okay, I'm living in a, jo I'm living a joyful world, and I'm going to go with the people who make me feel good. You know, and so you come to this place of recognizing that you are in a place of of joy, and you are creating the experience around you that is loving and joyful. And the more you create that loving, joyful world around you, the more the people next to you will start to see a loving, joyful world, and then they'll start making choices of their own. But that direct connection is in that laughter. You know, anybody who's had a private session with me knows that I don't think I've ever had one 
where we didn't laugh out loud during the process. And that's because I, I know that delivering that laugh is delivering a direct connection to God. And that direct connection to God is, when acknowledged, when acknowledged, becomes bigger, becomes more profound, because now you know you can go back to that state at any given moment. And when you're in that state, you can say, <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm joyfully receiving the, the answer to this question. I'm joyfully receiving the abundance into my life. I'm happily creating a world. Well, it's delivered from that place of fearless present moment. When I write my, my writings before a private session, that's what I do. I get very present, I get very fearless, and I just start listening what comes into my head for that person. I write their name on a sheet of paper, I get present and I get fearless, and I just write down whatever comes in. It's a matter of recognizing that your connection to God is here and now. It's not tomorrow, it's not last week, it's here and now. And when you get to that, that idea that a laugh is present moment fearlessness, and when you are fearless in your present moment, you are experiencing the connection to God. Because you're never not connected. You always are connected. That, that source is always within you. You're never alone. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. God is never gone. Universe is never gone. The connection is never gone. The reality of it is that everything you're looking at is just an energy event in motion anyway. It's all atoms, including your eyes. All you are is your belief, your consciousness, and the outer world is just showing you what your belief and your consciousness says to be true. And when you release all those things and you strip away, you, you set down all the baggage of all these beliefs, you get lighter. And what does that mean? That means enlightenment, because now you've become enlightened because you've stripped away all the baggage of the physical world and you've brought the kingdom of heaven to earth. Be in the world, but not of it. Be in the world, but not of it. It's a Bible quote. In the world, but not of it. Be here experiencing the world, understanding the balance and the powers of, of love and fear and the struggles of those two. But once you turn the other cheek and you become neutral and you go, okay, I recognize this feels good and I'm going to live into the loving side of this. And that feels bad and I'm not going to go into the fearful side of this. What happens is you start to live in this very present mode of fearlessness. And you start to surround yourself with this beautiful feeling of laughter that is God. And in that moment, that feeling of laughter that is God, you suddenly find the direct connection right here, right now. You sit there and you just laugh. You know, and when you find that moment, you find something on YouTube that makes you really laugh, make it a favorite so you can come back to it. One of mine, as many people know, is uh, The Rock and Kevin Hart, a video called Honky Pete, H-O-N-K-Y-P-E-T-E, -E, Honky Pete. You look that video up, you will laugh, and as you're laughing, you will find God because that laughter itself is the direct connection to God, and you can absolutely find it in this moment now. And once you acknowledge it, it'll come so easily to you in your direct connection, and you'll just live in the feeling. Remember, God comes in feelings, not thinkings. Get out of your head and into your feelings of that joyful laughter, that joyful feeling of that. That is the direct connection to God. And that's my thought on this. You guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye.